What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna be opening some epic fan mail. All right, so first we have um, people who are becoming a staple of the channel, the Booster Box Bros. They've sent us more stuff. So if you guys remember last time, they sent like four or five packs to be given away. This time they sent a blazing Vortex Booster Box giveaway. So you guys have a chance to win this Blazing Vortex Booster Box. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like the video, be subscribed, and leave a comment down below. And you have a chance to win this Booster Box from the Booster Box Bros. Fits them perfectly. All right, and they also sent, here are four packs for you. Hope you didn't think we forgot about you, Rux, bro. Here's a gift from you to give to your subscribers. Bless the world with your kindness. Yeah, I think I was supposed to read that first, but uh, it was the booster box. So they told me they were sending a booster box for you guys. So it looks like he sent four packs for me. So I get some too. This is gonna be pretty exciting. All right, let's see what four packs they sent. We have, ooh, maximum gold. Okay, okay. Let's try and get ourselves a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's do that. All right, okay, I'm pretty excited. Dragon Magician, we can pull Red Eyes. There's all kinds of great stuff in here. This was a fun set to open. Let's see, we have Necro Valley Throne. Dark Lord Ickvel. Elemental Hero Stratos, cool. Bear Statue of the Torrent. And the Melis Miscellaneousaurus, okay. Not the Blue Eyes that time, we got three more packs. Booster Box Bros sent this in. Let's see what we can, uh, let's see what we can get here. Here we go, the Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. We have the Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordsman. Herald of the Arc Light. Okay. Lose one turn. Oh, the Ruxin Special. Classic. Stardust Charge Warrior. And the Speedroid Red Eye Dice. All right, next pack. Maximum Gold. Here we go. Here we go. Gear Gigant X. We got, oh, wow, that, that one came up quick. Beatrice. We got the Synchron Carrier. Shared Ride. And a Zodiac Drydent. Okay, okay. None of the big boys so far. Those were like sort of short printed, I believe. They're like half printed, I think they said. So like they were not as common, but they weren't super short printed or anything. Okay. Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. Classic, classic card that we always pulled. The Monarchs Erupt. And a Laundry Dragon Maid. Okay. Oh, an Opelosa. That's a good one. Okay, that's a good pull. Apollosa alternate art. Okay, that's a good way to end it for that, that part of the video. Thanks again, Booster Box Bros, for sending that in. If you guys want to win that Booster Box, just comment down below, like this video, and be subscribed to the channel. Next, I have this box. Let's see if there's a note in here. I think there is a note in here. Oh, wait, no, that's not a note. Okay, I don't... There's no note in here. There's no note. Who's this from? This is from Josh. All right, Josh sent us some packs, but I don't remember... I don't remember being told about this, so I don't know what the deal is because there's no note. So I'm so confused right now. I guess he just sent these in, but there, he didn't put a note in, in there. All right, so we got some cool stuff though. Let's let's show what we have. We have a hidden arsenal special edition. That's pretty cool. We have a mystery box. That's gonna be fun. The ancient legacy edition. That's a good one. And then we got a whole stack of packs here that I gotta get out. Okay, so let's go. Let's start with the stack of packs here. So we have an OTS pack. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe we shouldn't start with these. The, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Dark Revelation. Rise of Destiny. OTS 12. Secret Forces. That's cool. LOB. Okay, maybe we shouldn't start with these. That's a good stack. Let's start with Hidden Arsenal. How about that? All right, here we go. Hidden Arsenal Special Edition. This is the original Hidden Arsenal. I think there's like seven of them. I think it goes to Hidden Arsenal 7. Am I right about that? Um, so this is the original. It's just called Hidden Arsenal. It's li it's limited edition. There used to be an option on TCG Player where you could buy first edition. And it was really confusing that I would list this stuff because there's no first edition. There's only unlimited. Okay, there is an X Saber Emmer's Blade. It's cool. And we've got... Oh, wait. Oh, this is Hidden Arsenal 1, 2, and 3. Oh, cool. It only has three packs. Oh, yeah, special edition. Makes sense. So, yeah, uh, that's... I didn't know that. I thought it was going to be all Hidden Arsenal packs. It's Hidden Arsenal 1 through 3. So, let's see what's in here. All the secrets right on the front, isn't it? Flamevel, I really like how they made the rainbowy names they look really good worm dinkles guard and detonate all right so this guy's like 30 cents i just saw it so uh he's not big but he is pretty cool looking all right so the uh if the thing's at the front let's see if we can okay yeah open it like this i hate having to open them like this it's very difficult but we also don't want to spoil the the fun right at the beginning so let's do it like this worm links we've got a giraffe wait is this the good card? No, that's in four, isn't it? 
The Drac in, in Hidden Arsenal 4 was really expensive. Naturia Cosmo Beat. It might not be now, though. Ally of Justice Reverse Breaker. That looks like a shower head. Ally of Justice Field Marshal. Secret Rare. I don't know if that's good. I really have no idea what's in 2. I have not opened much Hidden Arsenal. Um, I used to think that it was like the worst sets ever, but they've actually bounced back quite a bit. Okay, this is difficult to open. Oh, spoiler, it's a synchro, but they're usually always synchro, so it doesn't mean much. Okay, here we go. Shock Trooper with the Ice Barrier. Naturia Hydrangea, Worm Yagen. Jirak, Brockus. There's a lot of Drax, Worms, and Naturias. Ooh, that's a cool one. The Gun Gungnir. Gungnir, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. He is definitely dinged up there, though. That is unfortunate. That is a super cool card, though. I don't think it's worth a lot, but it's definitely cool. There are, I think there are first editions of this one, though. Of uh, Hidden Arsenal 2 through 7. That's a cool pull. Next, let's go into this mystery box. What can we pull out of this mystery box? Can we get something good out of this mysterious box? Let's open it up from the bottom. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do these one at a time for the for the uh, the dramatic effect. First pack. See, so, yeah, Fusion Enforcers. This is how I got. Oh, this is first ed. Okay, so when I did every pack opening like last year or whatever, we went around and got the monster boxes to get this pack. And I needed a first ed one, and I couldn't get one. I got an unlimited one. I should have bought these. I could have gotten a first edition one. This was one of the two we couldn't get. The other one was like Cybernetic Horizon or something. Ooh, a Megaton 2014. That's pretty cool, first ed. We have a Destiny Soldiers. These are all first ed. If there's a Cybernetic Horizon in here, I'm going to be very angry. Very angry. Ooh, LOB pack. Let's go. All right, this is going well. First Ed Invasion Vengeance. Um, it's not a good set, but first Ed, so it's good. And one more pack. We have a Unlimited Raging Tempest. Okay, pretty good. So we can just like mix these up now. Let's put everything together. So now we have some Legacy Packs. We got, okay, just some crazy Dark Revelation Packs. That's awesome. Some Tournament Packs. These can go over here. We got LOB right there. Duelist pack can go like right there. That fits. Now we kind of got a, a nice little variety here. All right, let's start off with the Secret Forces. There's a ton of packs here. So, uh, Josh, let me know in the comments if, the, if this was you, Josh. Like which which Josh this was? Was it? It was. It was it the Battle of the Joshes? Mod you the ten thousand hands. That's good. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, that that thing. Ritual Beast Ulti cannot. Isn't that okay? I think it's okay. Yeah, but uh, where all the Joshes were like gonna fight or something. I, I saw something about that. It was like a meme. All right, Raging Tempest. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up with the memes. Totally, totally up with the memes. Christron Ryan, Symphonic Warrior Guitar, Mechanel Archfiend, Eater of Millions. I think that's banned. Ooh, okay. I did, pulled the Ruxin Special Classic, but we got that Grass Looks Greener, which is actually a decent card. I think it's worth a few dollars. That's a good secret rare pull. That is a good start. Of course, it's out of the unlimited pack, but we'll take it. Okay, next pack. Let's go with the Invasion Vengeance pack, first edition. I have no idea what's in here. I just know it's... I remember it was not a good set in, like, 2018, so... And I don't even know. I think it came out in 2017, but I don't know if it got better or not. Fairy Tale Sleeper. Red Eyes Inside. That's a cool card. And Teller Knight Genesis. I think it is a guaranteed super in here, so that's not too crazy, probably. Let's go Secret Forces again. Um, was it at the front? No, it's not. Okay, good. Altitude Knight. Okay, cool. Divine Wind. I thought it said Attitude at first. Ooh, Preparation of Rights. I think that's actually worth a little bit. Dijin. And you'll send you comma three. I'm going to have to check on some of those secrets because I know Secret Forces does have a few cards that are worth a few bucks in Secret. I think one of them is a comma card. I'm not, or you send you or something. Don't know. Abyss Dweller, that probably was worth something at one point, but it's not now. Armageddon Knight. Ritual Beast Tamer Lara. Okay, I think some of the Ritual Beasts have some value too, so I'm going to have to check all these. Let's go with the Destiny Soldiers First Edition. I opened a First Edition box of this. It was like 40 bucks back when I first got back. Look at that. Allure of Darkness. Right when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! That is a good pull. That's like a $2 card. I know it's not huge, but pretty good out of one pack. Um, Abyss Script. Destiny Hero Dark Angel. So this set doesn't have too much value, I don't think. At least it was really, it was really bad value back then, but it does have some now, I think. Like those allures are probably some of the best cards, though. Spiritual Beast Can of Hawks. We got a Ritual Beast and a Spiritual Beast Can of Hawk. Exa, Soul Absorption. 
Necros of Unicorn. Not Unicorn. Unicorn. Man, guys, I just recorded that, um, or I just did the live stream with the LOD box. Go check it out if you didn't see it. And uh, sitting under these lights for this long is killing me. I'm getting hot. Okay, we got a Light Force Sword, Red Gadget, Jack Knight. Oh, a Sorcerer of Dark Magic and a Dark Magician. That's a pack right there for Duelist Pack Yugi. That's awesome. Okay, that is sweet. Sorcerer of Dark Magic is worth like three bucks unlimited still, I think. Even unlimited is three bucks. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go with this LOB pack. Uh, I'm going to open this up without scissors because I'm an expert at opening Korean packs. I don't know if you guys know. Look at that. See that? That's what we call an expert. And I'm going to get all these cards right. Watch this. We got a tie on. Double check my work. Fact check me. Hinotama. Turtle Tiger. Hard Armor. Spirit of the Heart. Okay, no blue eyes, but I got all the cards right. So, there we go. All right, now last pack of Secret Forces. Here we go. Can we get something big? I don't know what, what's big in here, to be honest, but I think there is something decent. Ritual Beast, Bond, Dijin. Soul Release? That's not a bad card. Necros Kaleidoscope? Is that good? I think this is the one I always look up, and it's not actually good, but I'll look it up anyway. Okay, let's go Fusion of Forces. Let's try that. There is the Alt Art Poly in here as a super rare, which is pretty cool. Oh, Fusion Gate. That's also cool. Um, it's one of those ones with all supers and a secret at the end, which is not that exciting. Low fires, that's that's not bad. Battle Fusion. Fright for Kraken. I have no idea. I have no idea. I've never seen that card, but he looks very strange. His eyes are below his mouth. That's just weird. Okay. OTS 10. We can pull an ulti out of here. And we will pull an ulti. Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. Why not? Why not do it? Explosive Magician. Here we go. Hida, the Fire Charmer, that became a uh, Starlight Rare, so that's cool. Let's try this Megaton pack. I have no idea what's in here. I've opened a ton of these, though. Uh, actually, I feel like I do know some of them. Isn't that Shadow Specter's Ghost Rare in here as a Secret Rare? I think it is. Um, and there's some other cards like that. Okay, White Dragon. Googly Eyes, Drum Dragon. I always pull that. Glass Jaw. Wishing you turn. There's a lot of cards in here. It's like a deck. Brother of the Fire Fist Buffalo. Return of the Monarchs? That's like a $5 card, I think. I think that's actually a great card. Oh. Windrose? I don't... I can't remember. I think that's okay. And a... I think that's worth like a dollar. Okay, I think it's a pretty good pack. I can't really remember. And these are the reprints. They're not the original versions. They're the MP14 versions. But it seems like that was a pretty good pack. Okay, let's go with... Okay, let's go with the OTS. Then we'll get into the old school stuff. Just all old after this. OTS 12. What is in here? I can't remember. We've opened a ton of these, but I just can't remember what's in all the OTS. It's confusing. Which one is which? Gigantis? That's pretty good. Wait. I can't remember. Ah, oh, Timmy Spirit. This is actually the best super, I think. At the time it was. When I opened it. Which was not when it came out. But <laughs> I think it's pretty good. All right, so now we are left with... Two LOB packs. Wait. This one looks a lot shinier. You guys see this? Maybe this is like a 2014 pack or something. I don't know. Um, we've got Dark Revelation and Rise of Destiny in here as well. Okay. Now, fortunately, no Dark Revelation 2. We could pull Chaos Emperor Dragon or Black Luster Soldier. That'd be insane. Um, I've never pulled those out of Dark Revelation 2. I've not opened much Dark Revelation 2, actually. So, that would have been crazy. All right, Skull Knight. We have Metal Raiders. My favorite set. I've claimed it now. My favorite set. Insect Soldier of the Sky. We got a jellyfish. Here we go. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. We will take that. And oh, no Picanium off. How disappointing. We will take a super though. That is pretty good. Pretty good super rare. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Oh, Dark Crisis. I haven't, haven't opened much of this recently. <laughs> Just like 100 packs. All right. All right. All right. Can we pull the Exodia Necros? We got a Dark Scorpion. Manetha Thorn. Keldo. Ojama Trio. Oh, I, thought, I saw the effect. Berserk Dragon. I thought it was an Exodia Necros for a second. That's actually a really cool one, though. I pulled this. I've said this a million times, but I pulled this out of my first ever first edition Dark Crisis pack. And it got a PSA 10, so that's pretty cool. All right, so now we have... Let's save some LOB for the end. Let's go with Rise of Destiny, first edition. First edition. We have a Tactical Espionage Expert. So I always say to Koichi, we do have two of them now. So a third would make a playset. That'd be pretty cool. Ultimate Rare. Element Magician. We got a Harpy's Hunting Ground. 
Mind, Haxer. Okay, so we didn't get the Decoichi, it looks like. We got a serial spell. Okay, just a serial spell. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's get the Blue Eyes. I haven't pulled a Blue Eyes in a while. Since I think the 2002 or 310s, whichever ones we did last. I think it was 2002 we did last. Okay, Skull Servant. Mountain. Let's go. Skull Red Bird. It's been a while. We haven't opened LB in a while. Misaki. Okay. We need to open more LB. What do you guys think? If you guys want to see more LB, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button and all that stuff. All right. Especially in the comments, though, because then I can really know. Like button, I just got to guess. <laughs> Dark Revelation, Volume 1. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we should open this second after three, but oh well. Here we go. I think we opened a booster box of this at some point. Did we? I think we did. Here we go. Medora. Oh, is that our rare? I think you can also get a foil as well. We'll find out. Great Maju. Burning Beast. Despair from the Dark. Sonic Duck. Tsukiyomi, that's a good pull. Okay, we'll pull that out. Trap Aboard Eraser. Formation Union. Meteor Rain. Final Countdown. Okay, good. Amazon a Spellcaster. And Gravity Axe. Gravity Axe. Grar. We will take those commons, though. That's pretty good. Two packs left. We'll save DR3 for last because it's an actual old pack. This is a reprint pack. It's looking a little bit shiny, though, which is weird. Raised Body Heat. Here we go. Fire Grass, Armored Starfish, and... Oh, a Trap Hole! Nice! Cherubin, Trial of a Nightmare, cool. Hitatsumi Giant in the 13th grade. You get a Trap Hole. That is awesome. I've been pulling a lot of holes recently. Pulled, we pulled the Dark Hole in the last time we opened LOB. Wait, that was the last time we opened LOB. It was an original LOB pack. Uh, if you didn't see that video, check it out. Um, but we got Dark Hole. Now we got the Trap Hole. So we're pulling holes all over the place. Final pack, DR3. Here we go. We have the Unshaven Angler. This dude is hairy. Enraged Mooka Mooka. I forgot about this card. Enraged Mooka Mooka. Gains 400 attack. For oh, it's a tribute. I was about to say, that's really good. Okay. Element Zero Sparkman. Nice. Element Soldier. What can you even get in here? I can't even remember. Insect Knight. Nice card. This, that card kind of looks fake almost. That's weird. Arm Dragon Level 3. Ooh, a Monster Reincarnation. We got a foil. Awesome. So it's not a crazy one, but it is a foil in the last pack. That's pretty good. We actually hit a ton of foils on this. We didn't hit anything huge, but we hit some decent stuff. All right, let's rifle through what we got real quick. We got some pretty cool stuff. I mean, I didn't sleep everything yet, but we got... Some, I mean, that's a ton of foils from the old packs. We got four foils from those old packs. That's really good. Tenyi. Return of the Monarchs, I think, might be one of the best pulls. It's like a 5 or $6 card. Necroz. I got to check all those. I think Apollosa is probably worth 5 bucks, something like that. Grassix Arena is worth like five or six. So a lot of like decent hits today. Nothing insane, but pretty good. And thanks again, Josh. Um, you didn't send us a note, but let us know in the comments if you sent this because I'm, I'm curious. I'm like, I don't remember this being mentioned. Don't forget to enter the Booster Box Bros giveaway down below. And also thank you guys for sending stuff in. I enjoy opening fan mail, especially when it has packs in it. That's always exciting. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Look at this box. Isn't it neat?